What's up everybody, it's your boy Chef DA and I'm coming with a uh, unboxing, really already unboxed it, but of the Katsu Chef Knife. So this knife, I just got on Amazon and I've been needing to upgrade because someone stole my knife and uh, it's like a $500 knife at a dinner party. Crazy enough, a dinner party, but it is what it is, you know, you gotta move on, upgrade, you know, that was uh, some years ago, but this is just some knives. I really don't buy a lot of expensive knives anymore. This is like a $64 knife on Amazon. It's really heavy. I really don't use it like that because of how heavy it is. And I've never been accustomed to using that many heavy knives. I have a sushi knife right here that I always use. Um, as you see, this handle is, I think, made out of bamboo. But I love that because how light it is and I can uh, maneuver anything that I want to cut. I uh, have another petty knife, it's, uh, and these are all Japanese knives, by the way. Um, Japanese slice boning knife, slash paring knife. Um, I use this, I think this is a six and a half inch. Uh, this is usually what I would use for boning chicken, uh, filleting fish, uh, cutting fat off of, uh, off of beef, and I would just use that for those things. But I wanted a new knife that was going to be my everyday knife that I'm going to use. I don't buy a lot of knives, but I usually buy a knife that I know I'm gonna use for every situation. Um, so this Katsu knife, and I think I'm a, the, pronunci the pronunciation of this knife is San uh, Tuku. It's S-A-N-T-O-K-U. I'm actually Google, rather. No. But this knife, is amazing uh, and we're gonna show it to you I want you guys to see that Damascus steel on here the ribbon so this knife here as well has the Damascus steel I don't I think it might be over does it say on here I think it tells you how many pieces of steel is pounded together to make this knife it might be over a hundred uh, pieces of steel that they pound together to make these and that's why you see that uh, let me see if I can get it right but those little rivets in it so you can see it all the way from here really fine all the way to the ones that they don't uh, basically smooth out but that's what caught me for these knives in the first place is just the look of the knife you, you're a chef you're a young chef and you see all these guys with these nice knives and now I got the, the the mercenary. Was it? I forget what brand it was when I came out. I went to the art institute. And they the kit they give you that Mercer knives, and I'm like, when you come in with that, they'll laugh at you. So if you want to upgrade your game as a chef, this is the knife that you should upgrade your uh, game at with on a budget because you don't have to spend that five hundred dollars. Some knives are like a hundred dollars an inch. So it'd come out to be like $5,000 just for one knife. It's crazy. But these, what they put, the work that they put in for these knives is what you want. You know, at the end of the day, you want somebody that handmade that knife and put all the work in, but you'll know why it costs that much once you put your hands on one of them. But I'm gonna show you guys how this one looks on the inside. See that that looks amazing right there man because this is one reason why I, I buy these and then another top reason why I bought this um, other than this thing being super light is okay it might be double the size of this one that's why I love it and versus this one is so so hard but um, this one I love it too because of this grip that you can put your finger in right here so you hold your knife like this, and this is the way you hold your knife. Please do not hold your knife like this on the handle. 
use these two fingers you got right here and now you put it on both sides of that back of that knife now you have complete control over that knife so when you want to chop something that knife is going to go exactly where you want but the best thing about it is this little groove right here that i can put my hand in to grip the whole knife and i can pinch it versus you have in this one and you don't have that grip it's just straight flat and you can easily cut yourself see how close my hand is to the back of this knife so hurt yourself right there that's not gonna be good at all but this knife is that is a really good budget knife for you guys um it's light going to put the link in the description for this knife right here uh, I think it should be like $112 on Amazon uh, it's the end of was well, the beginning of December so if you want to get somebody a gift that's a chef or if you just want to get somebody a gift that just loves to cook or somebody that wants to start cooking this would be a nice gift for them man like you check in the link down below I'll put the link for this knife it's your boy Chef DA and that's the Katsu knife.